The Department of Fisheries, in partnership with the Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA, convened a comprehensive week-long seminar in St. Lucia focusing on fisheries data analysis techniques utilizing the R Statistical Program to advance fisheries and aquaculture management practices within the CARIBCOM countries. The undertaking was yet another output of the Coast Fish Project. The collection of accurate and detailed data will enhance decision-making in the fishing sector, aid in the adoption of strategies for the changing climatic condition, and ensure the sustainable use of fisheries and marine resources. Kurt Hilton, a participant in the original seminar, highlights the significance of the educational experience in developing his abilities to analyze data and apply statistical analysis techniques to make sure that the fishing industry makes well-informed decisions. So from this training, what we have learned is how to analyze a particular data based on either bit on fish or from drone data that is used to, that was used in assessing um, the CMOS sector uh, and also some other statistical analysis tools in terms of GLM that we were introduced to, uh, which can actually allow us to do our work better which is informing our policymakers and our ministers on the direction they should go as it relates to fisheries. By examining drone spatial data, Deputy Chief Fisheries Officer Thomas Nelson emphasizes how drone technology has advanced in the evaluation of CMOS cultivation and aquaculture areas. And what it really looks to do is to build the capacity of uh, uh, fisheries officers from the various project countries in data analysis and, uh, and management, data management. So it is really using uh, data that is collected in fisheries to inform decision making. And the focus this time around uh, was both in the capture fisheries and aquaculture. In terms of aquaculture, the focus was on using drone technology, which is kind of a, not a new technology, but using drones to analyze um, spatial data to determine to what extent uh, aquaculture, CMOS farming can be established at various sites to also determine the level of use um, of the coastal area for uh, CMOS production. And remember that CMOS production is not done only in St. Lucia, but it's also done in uh, Dominica, Grenada, and uh, some of the other uh, coast fish project countries. The Department of Fisheries continue to seek to preserve St. Lucia's unique marine biodiversity for generations to come by leveraging cutting-edge techniques and technologies to enhance the analytical skills of regional fisheries officers. From the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, I am Zarek Fix reporting.